This video is just about information sets. I want you to think about what, inf what an information set is. I want you to think that is the place where a player decides or chooses and we need to think about the information he or she has when he has to decide. It's very important to have the information sets correctly because that will affect the strategy. I'm going to extend the example we revised in the class and see how changing the information sets will change the strategies. I hope this helps, okay? I'll start now. Okay, this is the Janet problem we revised in class. And information sets is what does a player know when she has to decide, okay? The story is like this. Janet has to guess behind which door Liz is standing. Jan is out of the room. Liz chooses between door A and B to hide. Monty observes, remember that, the choice. And after that, Janet, Janet enters the room. Monty says Janet is a red or green. And finally, Janet picks a door. Okay? So it's, it's simple. That's the game. Liz chooses A or B. Monty observes. So... He knows, that's why he has two information sets. And he said red on green. And, and then Janet enters the room. But Janet doesn't doesn't know Liz's choice. But he knows but she knows about Monty's Monty's decision. So how how would you do that? Is in a way what we, what I want you to represent is that Janet is blinded when about A and B, but she knows about red and green, okay? The way to do that is to do something like this. In this case, this information set is in red, as you can see. So she knows about Monty's decision, but she doesn't know, is blinded about A and B. That why is this dotted line and that's the information set for Janet. So we see that the strategy now has two letters. There are two points where she has to decide. And the strategy set is gonna be this. Four strategies combining the decisions of the two information sets Janet has. This is a little bit tricky. We we'll try to think very straight. That has to be a straight line, but now we can curve them to capture the idea of what she really knows and what she doesn't know. She knows about red, that's why it's captured like this, but she doesn't know about A and B. That's the example in the class. And those are the strategies associated with that example. I want you to think about another case. This case, Janet doesn't know about anything neither Liz's decision nor Monty's decision. So if we have something like that, then we have a dotted line like that. That information set says, she, at the moment Janet is deciding, she was completely out of the room and she doesn't know anything at all. So the information set is just one. We see J is just appearing once, is under letter, the strategy letter is just one. It's gonna be either A or B. It's like out of the blue, she doesn't know anything at all. And the last one is the case where Janet is in the room the whole time and is able to observe all movement in the game. So Janet has four set of information. One, two, three, and four. And the strategies will have four letters each letter will capture the decision at every single decision node. And the combination of strategies are 16 strategies uh, that will account for every single possible decision Janet has to do all along the game. That's an information set, and that's the way you should capture. It's nothing, it's never, it's not, it doesn't say that it has to be always a straight line, it has to say, what they get, the player knows at the moment he has to decide, and that's the most important thing, and will certainly determine the type of strategies we're gonna use. See how changes 
when she knows and what, when she doesn't know certain things in the game. That's another case. And in this case, yeah, she has two information sets, so two letters to account for every single decision that she has. And this is an extension of the, of, of the homework. Actually, this is the homework. And those two cases are related to it. And yesterday you were comment on those because people was answering the the homework like this, and um, other people just like this. But the story, the correct story, was the one. Okay, just pay attention to that, and I hope this helps for the revision of the homework. And I see you in the class, guys. Bye.